Hi everyone, welcome back to Tara's Tape. So today we are gonna make these cute little playing card notebooks, three ring binder notebooks. <laughs> and they're super cute for your journal. Um, just to put in a pocket, you know, and they're pretty durable. Now I did get this idea originally from index cards with Miss Pam on the paper outpost, but I did make one with index cards, as you can see here. And we could do one of these as well if you'd like to do that. It's the same process, though. I don't think you need to see it twice. But um, I decided to use my playing cards because I've got tons of playing cards. So we are going to need book page, tissue paper, or napkins, or both. I'm going to do one of each. I didn't. Uh, this is tissue paper this time, so I'm going to try um, tissue paper and napkins next this this coming time. Um, you're going to need cards, one for the cover, one for the back. You're going to need some little, um, uh, what do you call them? Ring, uh, you know what I mean, the little rings. Anyway, <laughs> mine are kind of bigger. I went and bought these at Hobby Lobby because the little ones I had were not allowing me to um, open and close the booklet correctly. So mine are like, looks like they're about a, just over I'm terrible about reading rulers, you guys. So they're right there. As you can see, it's like three eighths, I think. It's just before a half. Um, let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, three eighths. So anyway, or maybe I'm saying it wrong. Maybe it's one eighth. <laughs> I'm terrible about reading rulers. I'll just be honest. It's one of the reasons I don't I don't do a lot of measuring because <laughs> I embarrass myself. Um, I actually taught myself how to do it once and then I forgot because I haven't done it in a while. So anyway, back to the project. So this is a sanding block I got at Ace Hardware. You can get it at Home Depot, whatever, wherever. We're going to use those to scrub off the paper. I have a piece of scotch tape for my napkin so I can take off the back. Um, and then some coffee dyed papers. And I have cut these so that you guys know. And I did measure this. Um, they're three and a half, okay, by two and one eighth. All right. So that is our measurement for our paper. And of course you can tear these so they're roughened. I went ahead and used my paper cutter because it was just easier. Uh, I did tear these that's the first time and they're a little uneven and stuff. So that, which is fine, not a big deal. But um, I just thought it'd be good to have them ready. Can you see how organized I am? This is very impressive, right? This is not like me. So <laughs> I think I have everything I need. You're going to need, I'm going to use glue stick. You can use other types of glue if you want, but I find glue stick to be really easy with playing cards. And first we're going to set everything aside here. And I'm going to roughen up the outside of these. Okay. This is also a fun way to make your cards look aged if you just want to like decorate your cards is to use some sandpaper on them and just kind of, you know, see how cool that is. Just kind of gets that white look where you're, you know, sanding off everything. But with this, it just it causes that shiny outer coating to not cause the glue to not want to stick because sometimes that happens. Not usually with this really thin paper, but I just thought for the, just to be safe. I don't want it to come up. Okay, sorry for the horrible scratching cough board, uh, chalkboard sound. Did I say cough board? <laughs> I have had a day, you guys. It's taken me, it's like already 11.35, which for you, those of you who know me, that's kind of a late recording time for me. Um, but it took me all day to really decide what I wanted to do. I've just kind of been discombobulated today. Do you ever have those days? It's Monday for me. Uh, and I just, I don't know. I was crafting. I was doing stuff, but I just couldn't quite uh, get it together. Oh, for you that have been with me for a while now, I'm actually about to finish, believe it or not. You probably thought, thought I forgot. I'm about to finish our travel journal that we started with the album. I don't know if you guys even remember. It's been a while. I'm just going to wipe off my sanding block. Okay, so I'm going to wipe down my desk here. Get rid of that. I took my paper off. I just realized I got all this tape right here from the back of my tape. So I'm going to kind of 
wipe these off a little bit because they're very dusty. Okay. All right. Now we got those prepped. I'm gonna grab me another dry wipe and get rid of that one. It's got powder all over it. Okay. So this is the easy part. We're just gonna grab a glue page. I realized today I have a lot of paper in here that I had intended to use as glue page and it's like taking up my drawer next to me. <laughs> oh, okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna grab a piece of my book, okay? And I'm just using a, an old Barbara Cartland romance novel book but it's super old. It's from back in the 70s or whatever. And so the pages are nice and yellowed, you know. And also, you're relatively safe with your wording on those. Nothing nothing risque to, you know, graphic or bad is going to show up on your, on your project. You know, if you're watching for your words as much with someone like Barbara, she was pretty uh, genteel. So, okay, so we're going to put glue on the first side. And you're just gonna sit that down on there so that you've got the words. And the reason I'm doing this, you could actually let the cards show through if you want to. I want a um, book page behind mine. So when they can see, what they see behind it is, you know, just from a page. I just think it looks cool. But you can choose to do it any way you want. Now, I just realized what I did. I should have put this the other direction. I apologize. Now, you can do them uh, vertically. I want mine horizontal. So I actually should have done it like that. Okay. My mistake. Okay. But if you want your little notebook to be vertical, no worries. Just go for it. Okay. Make sure it's up nice and tight when you bring that other side down. And yes, it'll be upside down. It's not a big deal to me on this project because it's going to be underneath a napkin. And then I'm just going to grab my little scraper and press it on, make sure it's down good. Hopefully I didn't pull it up. I didn't loosen it too much on this first side. Now, you're just going to grab, <clears throat> you're just going to grab your block and get ready for that ugly sound again. I find these work the best. Now, I have used... Um, um, before I got one of these, I used to use a nail file, so it works as well. So, so this just kind of does it quicker because it's bigger. And you're going to have to, because that paper is kind of thick for the books, you're going to have to do it on both sides, okay? Just mute me for a second while I'm doing this. If it's driving you crazy. I know some people that sounds like chalkboard, nails on a chalkboard. Okay. And you're just going to go ahead and just kind of pull it off. And you've kind of got those roughened edges. And you can even, the side that was folded, you can even just roughen that so it's furry as well. Okay. There's your first one. <clears throat> and I think... I'm going to go ahead and do the very same thing with the next one. So I have the front and back ready to go. Grab another book page. Get your glue. Okay. These are a bit of a process. But they're kind of, I mean, they're fun and they give you a fun result. So it's a process that's a little bit awkward, but worth it when you get it done. You know, so I'm going to go ahead and sit this so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. And then again, your other side. You can also, if you don't have a file or anything, a sand, look at that, I'm crooked. If you don't have a file or anything to sand this off with, um, you can also just trim it. Like we could watch, I'll show you. So 
so you can just kind of fold it a little bit over the edge so you can see the edge and not that way you don't cut it okay and then you could just come up right against it and trim it off and then you could um, I'm gonna do mine but then you've still got that edge you know so either way this is a little easier on all of your ears I'm sure I do like that roughened edge, so. Okay, all right, now we're ready to use our tissue paper. I think I'll do, maybe I'll do the napkin first. Look at that, isn't that pretty? It was a gift from one of you girls. Thank you so much, my sweethearts. Oh my gosh, do you guys ever look, I, I think I might've asked you this recently because I've been experiencing this. Do you guys ever look at all of your stuff in your craft room and go, okay, I'm overwhelmed. And like you go looking through stuff and realize there's things that you haven't looked at in like two years and you forgot you even had. I've been running into that a lot lately. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a blessed problem to have. I'm, I'm sure, you know, cause there's a time when I didn't have, <clears throat> when I didn't have the supplies. So I'm very grateful, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm really overwhelmed. I don't even know what to use anymore. And just in case you don't know that trick, you just take a piece of scotch tape and rip that back of that off so when you go to decoupage with it, you're good to go. Man, I really got this crooked. Look at that. <laughs> Glad it's going to be covered. <laughs> okay, I'm probably going to need two blocks of this. I'm trying to decide which part I want. Let's see if I can get a lot of there, like that central part. Yeah. So here we go. Get our glue page and get the glue on there. And now this one, I used the tissue paper earlier and the tissue paper I used was actually pretty strong and, um, yeah, it held up really good for me. But now that I'm using a napkin, I'm gonna try to be, yeah, I'm gonna have to use two squares of that napkin. As you can see, it's not gonna be enough. But ooh, isn't that cute? That's so pretty. And you don't have to deck, I mean, you don't have to Mod Podge or anything on top of this um, at all, because that glue will hold that napkin secure. Um, you can though, I mean, if you want to. I'm not going to, but go ahead and get this off here. But you can see the words through there. You can see my crooked line through there, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna forgive myself for that. I posted in the Facebook group today. Um, a lot of you probably saw it, those of you who are members, but it said, uh, there are no musts. How did it go? Let me see. I'm going to look real quick. I'm just curious how it went again. It says, there is no must in art because art is free. So there's no rules, okay? So like, my little words are crooked, but that's okay. Because look how pretty that cover is going to be. Isn't that gorgeous? All right. So now I'm going to do the other side. Grab my little napkin. And I will be using all four of these sides because I have the front and back. Now, I actually could do the back in a different napkin if I wanted. But this is all I brought with me and I don't want to pause and go get more. So this is what we're going to use. However, you can do different papers. You know, you don't have to do the same paper. You can have your front and back covers look totally different if you want. Like I just said, no rules. No rules. You have the freedom to choose. Isn't that nice? Okay, so now we're going to get this other side glued. And I'm going to look here real quick. Yeah, I want to make sure I have this the right direction. And thus far, I had mentioned to you guys about the YooHoo glue. Um, it works really well. I can see why Gail likes it. 
So it is the other one that I use, you know, that Pam, I got introduced to it through Pam, the scotch, which anybody who watches them too knows they both have their, you know, their glue stick they use. And uh, so they're both really good. They look great. Just depends on what you can get your hands on, I guess. At least that's going to be my motto because I don't really have a preference. I'm liking them both. Okay. Go a little harder right there. There we go. I love to do this to playing cards. I love decoupaging playing cards. Um, I just, I you know, there's certain things I love to do, but I feel like if I do them too often on the channel, I'd just be boring. Like collaging is, you know, of course, my, my passion. I love it. But yeah, this is one of those things that I could do this. I could just sit and create, you know, little journal cards with, with playing cards all day long. I love it. You can also cut them down and make them into little tags. So there's our front. Okay, and then we're just gonna do that again. Let's see. I uh, I bought these scissors the other day, you guys, on sale, the Pioneer Woman ones. I'm thinking that they are better for, uh, they're better for fabric than they are for paper. Let me know in the comments if you agree. If any of you have them, what do you think? I haven't necessarily tried them on fabric yet, but they kind of seem, I don't know, hesitating on, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this off. They kind of hesitate for me on uh, paper. I notice a little bit. I like, I gotta be honest, I like my Ikea um, scissors better for paper. Even more than my, uh, what's that one brand called? Um, Fiskers. Yeah, the Fiskers. Oh, I, I bought those and they're expensive and I thought they're going to be great. I don't like them. What do you guys think about that? I just, I, mean, I don't know. I don't like them. Since I got those words crooked on the other one, I'll probably make that my back cover because this one's nice and straight. And I'm going to do... Uh, I think I'm going to try, um, I'm going to go ahead and do the full thing with you guys. I have enough here for two, and I picked that tissue paper, but I am thinking that I don't want you to have to sit through this whole process again. And the other part's kind of fiddly, um, putting in the, uh, the little rings and stuff is a little fiddly. I'll try to remember to post Pam's uh, original video that I watched. It was a here while back. I ha I'll have to find it. I'm not sure where it's at exactly. I'll see if I can locate it, though, for you. She just, like I said, she pretty much, she used a book page um, to cover her covers. She did not do tissue paper or any of that. I just got my general idea from her, and then I went with it on my own, you know, put my own spin. But um, that way you could, if I can find it, I'll get it on there so you can see both. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I love the snapping so much when I was looking through my box to choose them. Oh, and I don't remember who sent this one to me. I mean, my goodness, you guys have spoiled me rotten and I have an entire huge box I had like three or four napkin styles I honestly had none and then all of you lovely beautiful sisters just said here you go honey and you blessed me now I tore that just a tiny bit but it's no big deal we're going to distress on that corner uh, we're going to be distressing around this edge and everything and making it kind of doctoring it and making it look cool so this will probably be the front this will be the inside. I kind of like the way that side looks better, though. I don't know why. It's just the way it's falling right there. I guess it's the same. I'm being silly. It's pretty much the same. Anyway, so that's the back. That's the front. Now, now, next. Here we go, girls. Okay, so I have my crocodile, lovely little. We are memories keeper. We are memory keepers. Pammy, I think 
Did Pammy send me this? If I'm wrong, please forgive me. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure Pam sent me this. Anyway, so now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to, what I did earlier to try and get them as even as I could, get my lid back on my glue. Don't want to dry out that glue. It costs too much money. So I have my um, centering ruler and I want, let's see, I got to pick this the right way. There we go. So this is going to be the front. This is going to be the back, right? Yeah, the crooked one was the back. So what I did earlier was I took this and sat it into to the, sorry, I don't want to tear my tissue paper. I love this paper. I know that Vanessa sent me this paper. I remember. <clears throat> so I also just saw this corner. There we go. So what I did was I sat them down here on my little, little flat surface and I just centered this. Okay, get it where it's centered. And oh, what am I doing? Grr. I'm all off to the right. You guys see that? I told you, rulers and me do not get along. <laughs> it's just the way it is. So this is about, it's like two and a half, two and a quarter across. Okay, two and a half across. So this is bugging me. It's like it's, there we go. There we go. It was just more of that paper was there than it should have been. So we're going to center this and we're at a two and we're at two and a quarter on, or just, just shy. No, I'd say two and a quarter. Okay. I'm going to grab a little pencil or pen. Let me just, I'll just use this guy and I'm just going to make, I'm going to go in about probably an eighth of an inch and I'm gonna put a little dot, okay? And then I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna try to do this. Actually, I'm thinking, see I'm not good at this, you guys. Here, I'm gonna use something that'll give me an edge. There we go. I, was, I just wanted a, a, a even edge, because the other one I did was slightly crooked. So, okay. Now, I'm gonna put my other ring about right here. And I'm using that line there and then this line over here. Okay, so that, there, oops, oh gosh. <laughs> it blends into the black. Okay, it's that one. Okay, I just gotta make sure. And it's that one. All right, there's my, my dots, okay? Pathetic. So embarrassing. Anyway, I try to act like I know what I'm doing, you guys. So just forgive me when I'm, when I'm just human. Because that is all I am. Okay. So now I'm going to awkwardly do this because my hands are too small and I always end up having a fight with this. Okay. So I'm going to put that in there and I'm kind of watching where it's landing. Okay. I'm going to try to get it on there. Oops. Get up there. Yeah, I want it in a little bit more. Okay. There we go. All right. So now we have that hole. Okay, now here is, this is the hard part. I want to get it where it's even, but, okay, uh, there, I think, Ugh. see, I'm, I'm just slightly off, it's just me, oh well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna freak out. The reason I'm I'm even worrying about it is we're gonna use grommets in this. And I just wanted to make sure it's relatively good. I probably should have put my paper there as well. That was smart. Huh. I did this earlier and then I had to come back in and be like, okay. So as you can see, the paper fits in there because I cut it so that it wouldn't be hanging over. So it's like two and a quarter or two and an eighth, I mean. <clears throat> I think you could get away with two and a quarter, but okay. Now I got a repunch <laughs> because I'm a dork. All right, there we go. There we go. 
Get in there, you little goofball. All right. Okay. It's not totally perfect, but good enough. Okay. Now. Now, now, now. These guys. So we're going to use three of these. Okay. Your little O-rings. Little circles. Okay. Um, I got this size at Hobby Lobby. And like I said, I got the big size because I was finding it hard to open and close the little booklet that I made. So when I was in Sierra Vista, I remembered to actually get some. So now you're going to want to pull these. Don't pull them apart when you open these, just in case you aren't a jewelry maker and you don't know that. Pull them toward you, okay, and away. So you're going to open this up. Make sure your paper is where it's supposed to be. Wait. Did I do that right? There we go. Okay. And then we're going to put your backside on there. And we're going to take this and put it through. Okay. And then the hard part is getting it back. And I'm going to use Pam's trick with this. That one did really good. Look at that. There's like no crack in it. That's awesome. Because you know how you get that little crack there where the paper can kind of slip through? That actually didn't do too bad. But we are going to do a little trick that I learned from her. Um, with this one, I used, I used um, crinkle seam binding. Now, I think the knots are a little thick because it's material, you know? So I was gonna try her trick, which was with washi tape. Um, it looks cute too. I love the material. If I had, if I had some smaller, I guess, I probably could use maybe, no, I think this might knot up too big too, because it's kind of thickish, for a, even though it's skinny. I guess if I had some like satin ribbon, that would work. I mean, I do. I just haven't dug it out. So then again, we're just going to pull that in. Get I got a really good seal with these. That's cool. I probably, on if they all three came out this way, I probably would just need a little bead of glue between the crack there. But we're going to do these the way I did them by myself so that <clears throat> we get the whole effect. Okay. There we go. And again, just pull it back towards you. And there we go. I did. I got three really good seals. Okay, so at this point, if you did get good seals and you feel confident that your paper is not going to slip out, you could leave it. And there's your little booklet. Isn't it cute? Little booklet, little three ring booklet. But if you want to do, if you feel more secure putting a little bead of glue and something there to kind of bind it and make it look adorable, let's grab, oh gosh, washi washi. I've got the washi. Which one do I want? Um, got these little teeny tiny skinny ones. And I'm kind of, that one's pink, but this one's kind of brown, which might look nice. See, I'm looking over here because I've got this piece of the crinkle binding, and it looks, it would look so cute with this because of the dark brown. It just looks nice. You know what I didn't do? I bet you know what I didn't do. I did not distress. I did not decorate. I was so excited to move to the next step. Err. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Let's try this. We're going to do this. Even though it's a little bit late in the game, we're going to go ahead and distress anyway, okay? Just kind of move your rings out of the way if you went ahead like I did, if you followed your leader. <laughs> Not always a good idea. Sometimes, you know, your leader can lead you right off a cliff. All right, so we're going to distress this little puppy on the inside and out, make it look oh so old and cute and vintagey yes vintagey is a word 
It's a word around here. <laughs> and because you've got the napkin and the book page on your card and then it's the playing card, I, I think it's a lot stronger, actually. Um, gives it some reinforcement, you know, so your little cover doesn't break down on you. You could even put paper, um, or no, um, hole protectors for on the paper if you wanted to on the inside. You know, if you really wanted to protect and make sure these little papers couldn't get out and all that, you could do that. What time is it? Oh, we're making good time. Praise God. All right. Now, what I did on the other one, and I really liked it, was I used, thank you, M Misty. Misty gave me this black one, and I love it. I love it. I love it. So just to kind of give it some definition, I went around the outside on the other one, and I liked it, so I'm going to do it again. Okay, there we go. Just a little touch, and a little touch. These are so easy to use. They are in my Amazon uh, list, shopping list, that you can find the link below. And jump in there and grab some of these off of Amazon if you like them. They also carry them at Walmart, or not Walmart, Hobby Lobby. But I did find, at least at my Hobby Lobby, they have now started carrying only the big fat ones. And bigger packages, so they're not quite as cheap as they used to be. And then I used, on one of them I used my new gold. I haven't shown you guys this. I got this at Walmart. It's just a water-based, gorgeous gold. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. Oh, so pretty, right? It's just a water-based gold, and on the fr oh, I got it all a little lid dork. Okay, so the first one I took it on my finger and ran it around like this. The second side I did on the other one, I used my stick. So it's totally up to you. It does take a second for this to dry, but it dries really quick, and you don't need much, as you can tell. Okay, if you don't want a mess on your hands, use the stick, but you can use. See the gold? Pretty, pretty. So pretty. Now I'll do this side with this one so you can see the difference. Okay? I'm irritated. I got I got that stupid paint on the lid. Sorry. Don't mean to call it stupid, but you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so this is the gold stick. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look. So you got that really, you know, detailed look. And this is temp tempera paint, so it dries like boom okay but you know you still got it looks almost exactly the same I'm just always trying different kinds of paints all right so since I forgot that part I had to go back and do it now I feel better and now we'll move on to our now see this is where I'm hesitating because I really like the way the crinkle seam binding looks I just think it looks so cute do you guys like it I think it's cute it does kind of, you know, cause it to hesitate when you open it just a little bit because they're big, little, you know, those knots are kind of big. You know what we could do? We could, we could. We can give it a try. I'm going to cut a piece of this. I don't know how good this will work, but I'm going to give it a try. And then I wonder if I can kind of cut it down the center. I've never tried to do this before. I wonder if it'll tear. Never tried that either. Oh. I don't know. Nope. Okay. It's going to, no, nope. it's going to fight me. Okay. Answered my question. At least not with my hands. Um, if you have really strong hands, you know, then you might be able to make that work. That did not work for me. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of stretching it out so I can see. The reason I'm doing this is because the knots, the only thing that kind of irritated me was the knot was kind of thick. So I was thinking if the, the binding wasn't as thick then the knot won't be as big and it won't you know take up more space than I need it to and the only reason I'm using it is you'll see in a second we're going to be covering on that ring uh, we're going to be covering where it's got that opening that the paper might slip through because we don't want that just in case I mean even though I got a good closure on mine doesn't mean it's going to last you know those things kind of and paper is super thin. Oh, come on. <clears throat> paper is super thin, and so it can slide right through there. 
And that's such a nuisance, you know, they're cute little booklets. We don't want them falling apart in our junk journal. And then the person who gets the journal is like, oh man, <laughs> it fell apart. You know what I mean? Okay, so now we're going to take the first one. And this is where it gets a little bit awkward. I'm going to go ahead and string a piece of this through. Like I said, I used a thicker piece earlier, so we'll see. I'm going to use as little of this as possible. Grab my glue and see if it'll move. Will it move? Oh, yay. So I just put a little drop of glue on that crack of the of the ring, okay? And then this is the awkward part. I'm going to kind of hold it there this time. I didn't do this earlier, and I think it would have worked easier. And that way it stays where I want it to while I tie it. And you can tie this with the front to back, back to front, if you want. I don't really think it's going to matter with this because it's going to hold. Make sure it stays on that part of the ring for you, okay? So that it'll dry there and seal. Now we're going to see how my my uh, ribbon looks because it's super skinny now. Oh, the knot, though, is much smaller. And then we're just going to snip it off so it's short. Okay. There you go. Oh, that that's better. That's better. I like it. So I'm going to cut my seam binding in half like that because that worked for me. I'm just trimming off these strings where I tried to pull it. Okay, next one. So as you can see, this is easy peasy. It's just, just a tiny bit awkward. Um, but like I said, you know, these booklets are so cute. It's worth it. I think it's worth it for a little bit of fumbling around for a minute, you know. Now this one looks like it's a little bit crooked, so I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna bring that over if I can. All right, there we go. Okay, so now again, oops, bring your thread. Do this first. It's just really, really not easy to do if you put that second. Okay, so again, make sure you get the glue right there on the crack of that ring and then I'm going to hold that there again so it kind of stays for me so when I tie it it doesn't go all over the place and I'm using the the you know what you call it what do we call it again I keep doing that the art glitter glue that dries super fast okay so I'm just gonna if I can do this my hands are covered in glue and ink they're a bit funky right now okay I might have made a mistake by holding that too long and it dried there okay stop there we go okay one knot I'm gonna have to totally trim this off and if you mess it up like I'm messing this one up you can always trim it off and just redo it it's no biggie no biggie like I totally shredded this. I'm not really sure how I shredded it, but I did. Let's see. Trim. Trim. Oops, sorry guys. And these are cute. You can leave them. Um, see, I totally shredded this one. That's annoying. I'm embarrassing myself in this video. Sorry. You guys, by now, most of you who know me know that I'm extremely human and <laughs> kind of have no trouble showing it. <clears throat> so what I was going to say is these are so pretty. You don't really have to do anything. Now, I think if I were Pam, I would be thinking, you know, glitter droplets, you know, the little paint that she does. Um, I don't ever use that stuff too much because I always, always, no matter how dry it gets. Oh, and I forgot to put that through first. No matter how dry it gets, I flatten them. I do. Do you guys do that? I always flatten them. So, yeah, it's like it's not even worth it for me. I don't know about everybody else, but I tend to be a little bit. Tina calls herself heavy-handed and every time on Shabby Dabby Doo Dot. Every time she says it, I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know what you mean. Yeah, that's me. I am heavy-handed. I am not delicate in the way that I do stuff and so it tends to get a little bit messy a little bit okay and again we're going to trim these off 
And I think I've left these a little bit long. This little guy too. Okay. So there is our first one. Wait, wrong way. There. That's our first one. And as you can see, it's really kind of cool because they open up really flat and you can write and they can write in them, you know. And there's 12 pages in here because it's six pages, two on each side. So it's 12 places to write. Adorable little, uh, just super cute to put inside, you know. Um, I'm looking here to see. There's, I have this little girl. I was wondering if I should put, if I should put anything on here. Wouldn't she be pretty there? But then she's going to cover up. That's the thing. See, I don't want to cover. This napkin is so pretty. So what I think I'm going to do, because you know me, I think I'm going to put a positive message on the front with some words because I love words. I love words. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, gosh. Oh, this one's nice. Give thanks. That immediately, <clears throat> immediately brings um, that old worship song, praise and worship song into my mind. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ, his son, give thanks. I cannot sing today. I sound like a frog. I am so sorry to put you through that. <laughs> oh, I haven't sung all day long, so I apologize if that was very froggish. But this reminds me of that song. I loved that song back in the day. And I think looking at these beautiful flowers, that just is perfect little sentiment for the front of this notebook or booklet, whatever we want to call it. I don't know. It's kind of like a little three ring binder booklet. All made with playing cards. There we go. So there's our project. Do you guys like it? I love them. They're so cute. Now, I will say that I think, I think, I think, even though it's a hassle with the little knots on the front, that it kind of looks cuter with the thicker, um, the thicker ribbon. The thin ribbon is very thin, so I may come back in and, like, tie something else around there. I might redo that, but anyway. But you get the point, and I hope you guys felt inspired to give these a try. You know, it, it took us like 40 minutes to make one, and I don't think that's too bad for such a cute and adorable little project in the end of all things. And it's perfect to just slip into our our journal pocket. And uh, yeah, I like these. So there we go, guys. I hope you had fun. I love you. Thank you for being with me. If you enjoyed today's video and you felt like you were inspired, please give me a thumbs up and shoot this out into the algorithm world of YouTube. And um, if you're not a member of the family, please consider yourself invited. Please subscribe to the channel and come back and visit me more often. And um, and if you'd like to be a part of Facebook group, it's Creative Cuties on Facebook. There is a link below in this video, but it's titled Inspired Creative Corners. Um, I haven't changed it yet. I keep saying that. I need to do it. Anyway, <laughs> forgive me. Um, but I love you guys. God bless you. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.